Hello everyone, I'll tell you how to PL the power leveling in Diablo Immortal. It will be very handy if you wish to help a friend which stops the game or just started it. So the idea of the PL is to help low level players with high level players. You can use it for a reroll if you just started the game or if you have trouble to go to a next difficulty. In that video, I also take the example of going to Hell 5. Also, in MMORPG as Diablo Immortal, if you just started the game, you should have 3 or 4 months to farm the game in order to try to get the same level of your allies. Of course, it's not very interesting. Plus, in that game, you have the bonus experience. I'll tell you more about this in the next section. As you know, in Diablo Immortal, you have a crazy buff of experience if you are too low compared to the level of the server. You can even have a buff of 400% of experience. This means that you'll get a ton of experience, but you won't have the time to get stuff. I took the example with my guildmate Joker, which is Paragon 135, and have a combat rating of 1800. In about 10 levels of Paragons, he should need 3100 of combat rating if he wish to play in Hell 4, and of course by playing solo it's not possible. But with that method we'll get the stuff for him, legendaries and set in order for him to have quickly a boost of combat rating. Before going in details, I wanted to tell you what the challenge rift will unlock for your character. The open world and the dungeon are not linked to this breakpoint, that means that if you want to go in L5 and do some dungeons, you'll drop L5 items. So it works for every monster that you kill in the outdoors areas and the dungeons. Reaching a breakpoint for the challenge reef will put the following activities at the level of the difficulty of the breakpoint. Gambling, the contracts, the bounties, PvP, events and battle pass rewards, bestiary and raids. That's why we'll focus on the two other activities. I start with the dungeons and it's quite easy to understand. You take three people can do the dungeon and one people who need stuff. If you have two good players, you can also take two people who need stuff in order to PL them. Then you just need to do the dungeon and if you are the one which needs the stuff, just at the end, at the boss, you stay die and you wait for your team to resurrect you. You'll get the stuff and move to the next dungeon. There are still a few dungeons that you should avoid because you need to work them and it won't be possible for your PL and we don't want to spend time cleaning the dungeon because the idea is always to get the fastest to the boss and do it again. So Kikuras, Echoes and the Pit won't be the dungeon to do. Fire and Tower are okay if you wish to do them and the easiest one are Destruction, Breach and Namari. In the case where your mate need legendary, you should better do open world. Just make sure to be near a weapon because your PL will often die and needs to come back to the farming area very often. There's also two activities which can be interesting. The first one are the raid. You can invite anyone without a combat rating requirement, so it's quite good to invite people to give them the scorias. And the challenge rift, you can also do it for your friends in order to get the materials. I personally don't do it because I prefer doing the dungeons in order for them to get stuff and then to do buy them on, but it's still a possibility. Thanks for watching this video, I hope the PL will be much clearer for you and that if you have friends who need some help, it will be much easier to help them.